buildings were bored by the smashed and barricaded windows, graffiti walls, a gallery of cement splats, arterial spray, gauze and splodges of diarrhea. I hair past row upon row of burnt out cars and vans, upturned with their wheels in the air like fried insects. The road is a lake of blood, splatters and motor oil. My feet scrunch over rugs of broken glass. The air is filled with the pain howls of Kalikov's sheep, routinely abused by their loved ones. Caustic soda anal enemas, spirit vinegar eye baths, broken bottle minge plugs, the whole shebang from your local discount torture. I slow down to a crossroads on the edge of town. The road dips towards the train station. Through a siding window splashed with blood and puke, I make out subhuman shapes contorting the riding of the new rock. A Kelifos she squeals and jerks between the mass of libidinous, deformed males with pricks the size of spade handles. A pair of dwarf like demons are forcing their jaws open, almost ripping the flesh from the corners of their mouth. Wide enough for a bird to stick a dick in the seat of water. Another member of the gang is on his hands and knees, and he spits to lubricate her arsehole, rams his arm right up to the other one. Spinning like a dervish, but soundless. I grope around in the road in search of a weapon as the demon lurches downward, this time from behind. I discarded axle. The demon swoops past at lightning speed. I grab the axle and swing with all my might, striking my attacker full in the ribs. The crunch of breaking bones is brittle as biscuits. I swing again and again and again and again, each blow tearing off squelches of flesh. The demon spins like a top, a piñata stuck with sticky ooze. Exhausted and puzzled by the lack of fight from the attacker, I drop the axle. Dead? I hear the creak of a rope above, the constant low moan of the town. I look up. The beam is hung upside down from the underside of the railway bridge, its hands bound, its eyeballs gouged out by some blunt instrument dangling from their sockets by stringy muscle tissue. The two black holes stare out from glistening brain matter. The mandible droops to the left, torn free in a lopsided grin. Two rows of teeth snap down to the stub, the tongue spliced into three scarlet wedges, the mouth a hot gurgling orifice of raw nerve and lymph. I raise my hands to my face, baptizing myself with the fiend's blood. My arms are drenched black against the moon. I snatch against the wall of the bridge and try to make sense of it. I can't make sense of it. The demon jolts on the end of the rope, struggling to break free of its bindings. It jumps and jerks like a fish caught in a net. A guttural rasp escaping the throat. Right through me with extreme prejudice. The creature grappled. 
its eyes, falling into the welcome torpor of 